Hey y'all, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna give you an update video on my Watson's collection. So here we go. So let's start right here on my shelf. So these two jars, I filled up with nests. Those are normal paper wasp nests. Yep, I found those in Washington State. So whatever state name I put on the jars, that's just the state I found them in. Those are European paper wasp nests, by the way, because that's one of the most common wasps in Washington State. So yeah, so that's European paper wasp nests. And this one, I also dug up in Washington State. I need to put the name right there. <laughs> so uh, that's an underground yellow jacket nest. See? And yeah. So all these nests on my shelf I found in Washington. Yep. And right up here, here's some more nests I found in Washington. And by the way, I don't live in Washington anymore. I live in Kansas now. <laughs> That's the state I moved out of, Washington State. So yep. So those are ones I found in Washington. And right here, I actually, I'm starting to have a, a bug collection here. So right here, these are some cicadas which is actually my favorite bug. So I'll, I'll show you the names of these here. So that's a walker cicada, and there's a green walker cicada, and that brown one right there, that's a grand western cicada. And this green one, that is a scissor grinder cicada, which is actually my favorite species of cicadas. And honestly, I, I need to look up what these two kind are called, but yeah. I have, a, I have some cicadas right here. And right back here, there's a field cricket. And right next to it is a tree cricket. And inside of that, inside of that box right there, those are some millipedes. Yep, so millipedes. And right here, here's an animal cracker jar. <laughs> I filled up with nests. Yep. And let's see, where should I go? Okay, and here are some nests I found in Washington. Uh, these are some European paper wasp nests. And, yeah. And right in this jar, these are some nests. That big one right here, that's actually one I found back in Washington. That's a European paper wasp nest. But all the rest of these nests are, um, are nests that I found in, like, Texas and... Uh, Utah and all that stuff, and here. So, um, yeah. So I think most of these are guinea wasp nests. Because that's the kind of wasps Texas has, guinea wasps. But yeah. But these ones, like, right on top are ones that I found here in Kansas. So yeah. And there's a mud dauber nest. I found that at a creek in Texas. And here's another mud dauber nest. That's an Oregon pipe mud dauber my dog nest. And I also found that at a creek in Texas. And yeah. Oh, and right up here, here's some cicadas. See? I just find them dead on the ground and I pick them up. See? So I'm filled, I filled up that bag with them. So yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds in there. Most of those are actually scissor grinder cicadas because I, I keep finding them dead on the ground. But yeah, it's a bag of cicadas right there. I'm gonna keep it right there. And yeah. And also, right over here, here's some cicada shells. Most of those I found at my uncle's house in Texas, in San Marcos, Texas. And there's a mud dauber nest I found at my uncle's house in San Marcos, Texas. And yeah, and right, right here, there's a cricket from Texas. And that is a hermit crab shell I found in Port Aransas, Texas, which is the beach area. Yeah, so what happened was I caught a hermit crab and it was already coming out of its shell. So um, I let the hermit crab go and I kept it. I kept its shell because I thought that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, and I think that's pretty much it for this video. Well, hope you guys like it. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. All right, bye bye.